Hey, it's going. Greetings and salutations from my front porch in the midst of what is looking to be like the end of a thunderstorm. It passes by, it never actually rained here, but it's still popping around. So, I went on the edge, sitting on my front porch. <clears throat> so, yeah. Got home from work today, and I left 30 minutes early because I felt like I was robbing my boss because I was just doing nothing. So, I didn't want her to pay me for sitting around. So, I left. Anyway, I'm here, on here, to talk about summer orientation. Um, it was amazing. Walking on a campus for the first time is, it, it was more powerful in like that one moment than it was pretty much my whole day of graduation. Like I wanted to cry. Walking onto a college campus and like it's no longer just other people, it's all about, I mean like you are the student now. It's just something that, I mean, I, it was, I have no words obviously. Um, exciting. At this point, I'm still pretty excited. I'm not really nervous. I mean, I thought that orientation was going to be really terrible and awkward, but it was actually really fun. Um, went to a bunch of seminars the first day, and then the second day, I got my class schedule, and I got, um, I did placement testing, I requested my roommate, and I requested a job on campus. And I found out that there's some jobs that pay minimum wage, which is actually pretty good considering that I thought they all paid six twenty. And I was pretty disappointed about that. Um but yeah, it was really great. I met lots of people. I was kind of worn out of meeting people because there was just so many people. I never talked to any girls, but I mean <laughs> I never talked to any guys, but I talked to lots of girls. I got a couple Facebook friends out of it at least. So maybe it'll be maybe it'll be good. And my schedule, not that great at all. I have a class at 8 o'clock every day of the week, except for Thursday, and then I have one at 10 o'clock. So, that's not cool. But, good news is that um, I am a little bit more decided on my Spanish major, and I took a placement test for Spanish, and I haven't taken it in two years. I only took Spanish 1 and 2, but I tested out of the whole first level of college Spanish, so that instead of putting me in elementary, they're putting me in intermediate, so that was pretty crazy. My my uh, advisor was really impressed, so um, I'm kind of just thinking about it for the rest of the summer, whether I want to actually take intermediate when I haven't taken it in two years. I may just do, um, I may just do elementary. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was really great, and met up with some old friends and some old acquaintances from camp, and... It was fun, and I can't wait till August 31st, no, 30th. I, I actually move in on my birthday, so that's going to suck. But, because it's going to be like, Happy birthday, Jessica, we're ditching you forever. But, yeah. What else? I'm not really doing anything else for the rest of the summer, so Lizzie, we need to hang out and go do um, some shopping, specifically for clothes shopping. And, uh, yeah. Not doing much of anything except for work, and work as of today has gotten unbearably slow. So, yeah. Okay, now I feel like I'm just wasting time. I don't really have much else to say. BBS this year, I was going to make a video for that, but it was too crazy. Like, Thursday night, I just, I really just wanted to kill myself. Like, we are playing soccer with a beach volleyball, and we were like, how can kids get hurt doing this? We had four kids crying at one time. At one time, because two ran into each other. And then the, the athletic kid in the group ran over this little girl. So she was crying. And then my little sister, I turned around and Emily was crying for no reason. Oh, yeah, also, on that note, um, well, VBS was really crazy. But it was really great just to be able to hear, like, the gospel really simple and, you know, know that it was for a purpose. My dad had about 12 kids out of our 30 to 50-some um, professed salvation. And I'm sure uh, I think about four or five of them were really um, sincere about it. So that was really encouraging just to know that you, I'm, I was willing for the, the terrible week that VBS was if it was just for, you know, those kids' sakes because it's awesome and that's the best thing that will ever happen to them and they probably didn't even realize it. But anyway, this week also my siblings are all gone in South Carolina. They're camping and tubing and shopping and going to festivals and hanging out downtown and biking with my grandparents who are recently retired. 
So they're all gone, and our house is really quiet, and it's really sad. But yeah, I guess I'll leave you guys the how is this five minutes. Oh well. Anyway, it's not like you guys have anything better to do, like run all over Europe like Carrie, or go on 50,000 road trips like Lizzie, or, you know, whatever. Anyway, talk to you guys later.